add the opposite. Okay, so in this video we'll be looking at adding the opposite, which before we looked at the addition rules with integers, but now we have subtraction. And normally people think subtraction is more difficult, and in some cases it may be. So instead of looking at some new rules or different things like that, I'm going to teach you a strategy to change these subtraction problems to addition problems by adding the opposite. So what it means add the opposite is the first thing you want to do, and this is not going to be just for one special case, but this is going to be for every single case. You're going to change it from subtraction to addition, so that's where adding comes in the first part which you can notice was the first action done by our cartoon at the beginning of this video. Then what you want to do is take the opposite of that second number. Notice the second action done by our cartoon character is him pointing to his right. This reminds us that when we are finding the opposite, we should find the opposite of the number to the right of our addition sign. So opposite of a positive 9 would give us a negative 9. So now, instead of 3 minus 9, now we have 3 plus a negative 9, which is actually equivalent to that first expression. Going on to the second example, we have a negative 5 minus a negative 4. So same thing, we're going to add the opposite. So change subtraction to addition, and the opposite of a negative 4 is a positive 4. So now we have negative 5 plus a positive 4. Notice how I did not change that first negative 5. The reason for that is, is because I need to change it to adding the opposite, which means changing that subtraction sign to an addition sign. So notice if I was to read this problem before it was changed, it would be negative 5 minus a negative 4. I can only change the minus sign. This is a negative 5, so the sign in front of it is not a minus sign, but rather a negative sign. So I do not want to touch that one. Some students like to think of the phrase keep change change in which you're still doing the same thing as adding the opposite but just saying it in a different way what I mean by keep change change is that you keep the same number you keep it exactly how it is you change the second sign and you change the next number so for instance first one could still be keep change change so if, whether or not it's add the opposite or keep change change that works the best for you I would recommend to use the one you are most comfortable with so last one, 4 minus a negative 3. First thing we need to do is add. Opposite of a negative 3 is a positive 3. Now we have 4 plus a positive 3. So now that we have applied add the opposite to all of these subtraction problems, we can now solve them using our integer addition rules from before. So noticing that first one, change to 2, 4 plus 3. So since they both have the same sign, which is positive, our solution will be positive, and 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So our final solution is 7. The next one was changed to 3 plus a negative 9. Since we have different signs, the 3 is positive and the 9 is negative, we're going to keep the larger of the two. Remember, larger means absolute value, or the one that's further from 0. So in this case, the 9 would be bigger than the 3. Since the 9 is a negative number, our answer will be a negative number. And then we want to find the difference between 9 and 3, so we can do 9 minus 3, which is equal to 6. Final solution should be then negative 6. And last one, we have a negative 5 plus a positive 4. So we're going to, once again, since they are different signs, keep the larger. 5 is the larger number, which is negative, so our answer will be negative. Then we can find the difference between the two. 5 minus 4 leaves us with 1, so the solution would be negative 1. 